I have a very special powerhouse panel with me, and I'm going to talk about the topic um, because Filipina on the Rise is all about women who are breaking ceilings in different industries. Um, and in this case, it's in business, venture capital, investing, innovation, and more. This is truly a multifaceted woman right here. Uh, and this is something I think we rarely get to see Filipina women in representation, and this is at a global playing field. I have been a fan of this lady. I follow your Filipina on the rise, yeah. and I think it's amazing what you're doing, elevating the voice of Filipinas. Tell me what brings you here to um, the barrio. Yeah, thank you so much, Nell. And I have the like honor and privilege of getting to moderate one of the panels here at the barrio. I'm based here in Austin, Texas, so it was just the perfect alignment. And what we do at Philippine on the Rise is to promote Filipina excellence. And what that means is show the capabilities of women in our community in different industries and to break ceilings and to show that we are more than the stereotypes and the, you know, the traditional expectations. And this was just a great opportunity to gather and amplify um, women, especially the panel was on women in investing and fundraising and venture capital. And that is just something I've personally been so passionate about and you just never see people that look like us. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest highlights of that talk was that you have to see faces in the spaces. Mm -hmm. And you can't be what you can see, but once you see it, then you can believe it. So I feel like seeing that um, and representing that industry here at the Barrio is really important. Right, and that's why I laud what you're doing as well because if I'm not mistaken, um, you were in tech. Yes. You were gainfully employed. Yes. But you actually left that field to go full on with Filipina on the Rise, which yeah. to me is an amazing passion project. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I feel like it's very much needed in the community. Yeah. What pushed you out of your comfort zone to start this? Yeah, it was from personal curiosity. I'm such a curious cat and I was working in tech, but I grew up never being really connected to my own culture and pursuing pride in my identity and um, heritage. And I think when you're working in tech and you're surrounded by, you know, it's a male dominated space and I was working in diversity and very still few Filipinas in the pipeline. It rose up a pain point for me of I called it the pain of invisibility. Mm -hmm. And I, I made it my personal mission to go out and find the women I wish I had growing up to look up to. Mm -hmm. So CEOs, um, women who are engineers, innovators, disruptors, authors, artists, people just outside of the healthcare field, nothing wrong with that. But th those and spotlight their stories. And it, from that, it started as a podcast yes. in my walk-in closet. And now we are a large, just like growing global community. And I just couldn't be more excited to see the tide of what I call the Filipino Renaissance right. is coming. I love yeah. that. Mm -hmm. And and people see, people see Filipino on the rise. People see your meetups. People see all this, that's all encouraging. But yeah. I know that as somebody who's a founder and a starter, yeah. behind the scenes, there were struggles. The best way to start anything when you go on to be um, a founder or a solopreneur or just like a, you know, have your own full-time um, initiative is starting off as as a passion project that's more part-time because mm -hmm. it gives you that leeway of creative fulfillment and growth. Um, and then only then when it's like more, I, I have to choose now because something is, is growing, yes. that's when you pivot. Okay. And it's never just like do the full-time jump, it's you gotta get, <laughs> getting your own basis covered by making sure you have a tested and tried um, customership, product, all that stuff. And uh, I think one of the biggest lessons I'm overcoming right now is that we're scaling mm -hmm. and to let go of the reins and, uh, and hire and delegate people in those places because it's absolutely necessary to like let go mm -hmm. um, and let people take your 
your mission further than you could have just taken it on your own. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And I know that it's not just the lesson that you're learning for yourself. What's good about what we do is when we talk to people, we also learn from the conversations, right? What are some of those learnings that, um, that you've picked up from people that you've interviewed, perhaps, mm -hmm. people that you've met up with? Um, what are some yeah, of those that you can yeah. share with us? Um, what immediately comes to mind is I remember Christina Rodolfo, who used to be the director of Women's Health magazine and a couple other magazines, and also Alyssa Navarro, who is a Forbes, like 30 under 30, Disney princess voice and everything, is one, you have to learn how to advocate for yourself, to, to really understand what you're going for and to make the ask. Mm -hmm. No one's gonna give it to you, no one's gonna notice you. That's not how this world works. Right. You don't get noticed, you gotta bang on some doors. Which is also so um, far removed from a, a Filipino trait of being modest. Right. Right? If you're right. modest, you can't toot your own horn, you can't like, yeah. which we have to change. Right, right. right. Okay. I think it is one of our greatest, like hum being humble is one of our most beautiful qualities, but also our biggest obstacles in not just getting to the top, but advancing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I would say that's, that's fine. I have the modesty, but also I used to confuse being confident and stating your successes and being direct with, oh, that means that you're prideful and arrogant. arrogant. And that's not true. Mm -hmm. And I have to practice. I, this is how I, I, I like unprogram that, right? And get into elsewhere. Practice with your friends, right. practice with family, practice with people you're close with and get comfortable mm -hmm. with with advocating for yourself. Yes. Thank you for also yeah. uh, sharing. That was an amazing panel. Yeah. And we thank hope, uh, and thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Yes. And thank we you. hope that this isn't the last. Yes. No, yeah. it won't be. Good thank luck you. and more power to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for all you do. Thank you sure. as well.